What's up everyone? In this episode, we're gonna unbox and review the Turbo EverDrive Pro from Crix. All right, everyone, so we are going to unbox and review the Crix Turbo EverDrive Pro. Now, I got this in less than a week, which I was pleasantly surprised by. And uh, so we're gonna just unbox this really quick, check everything out. Then I'm gonna show you how you can set up your folders. And then we're going to test this out on a couple of different systems and see how it works. So let's get this thing open. Okay, so here's the game case from Crix. We've got the title on the front here, Turbo Everdrive Pro. Down the bottom left-hand corner, we've got CD-ROM 2 core, arcade card functions, keeping your hardware alive. Crix, established 2009. We've got a wraparound cover. Around here on the back, we've got Cyclone 4 FPGA, 16 megabyte of PS RAM memory, in-game menu, multi-slot save states, Tenno Code 2 save support, cheats, USB port for development, custom menu themes, and instant loading. Down here, we see that play CD games on your stock TurboGrafx-16 and PC Engine. There's some system requirements here. And then over here, we've got a QR code that you can scan for the manual and the firmware download for this. So that's pretty slick that they've got that there. Let's open this thing up. So here we've got a little card, similar, where you just scan it to go into your manual. I'm glad that they include this. And then we've got the cartridge itself. So here's the cartridge itself. We've got the white finish on ours. This comes in a black or a white. The construction quality of this is very good, just like all the other Crix products. I mean, they, you know, there's a number of um, different companies out there that make these uh, multi-cart options for different consoles. But by far, in, at least in my opinion, I think EverDrive's the best. They, uh, as, as far as the cost goes, none of this stuff is cheap, but anything with retro gaming isn't. But these guys, they, they put a lot of time into the development of these. It always works great. And because of the build quality, it's gonna last for many years. And that's why I stand behind all these products and why I've gotten as many of these uh, Crix EverDrives as I have, is because I actually uh, believe in their products and, and I know that they're gonna work for a long time to come. And again, this is no exception. I mean, it's very well built. We've got a um, button here on the top. We've got our uh, cable here, input the USB. And then over here, we've got the micro uh, SD card slot. And then what we'll do is we will plug this into the console itself and check it out here in a second. And around the back, we've got Turbo EverDrive Pro model 22 revision B. You see here, February 23rd of 2023, made in the Ukraine. All right, so let's plug this into the uh, console here and see what we can come up with. So here we have our TurboGrafx-16 console, and we're just going to insert this in and see how it fits. So we'll just slide this into the hue card slot. We get that satisfying little snap that it goes in, and then you'll just slide over your power button to lock it in. Man, this fits perfect. It looks nice on here. So then uh, what we would do is we'll just plug this in and we will test it out. But first what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your SD card and what we'll do is we'll throw some regular games, some Hue card games on here, as well as some CD games so that you guys can see how this works. All right, so the last thing we're gonna test out is this right here. This is the Analog Duo. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to play the Turbo EverDrive Pro one here and show you guys what it looks like so that you know it'll give you an idea whether you think it's worth it to get one of these to a company that Turbo EverDrive Pro or just use it on the original Turbo Graphics. It's up to you. One thing that I'll note, and uh, we'll get into it, is you have to remove the top part of the cartridge that's, that's got screws in it to be able to physically fit here because this slot is not big enough for that to fit in there. So we'll have to 
take that off to get it to fit in here. But since we're doing this review, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in here because some of you I'm sure are going to uh, buy one of these or already have and are considering doing this, some of your gameplay with the Turbo EverDrive Pro. So we'll test this out along with everything else. All right, you guys, so now let me show you how to format your SD card to use in your Turbo EverDrive Pro. One note to make is that we are using a Transcend 256 gigabyte micro SD card. I will put a link in the description in case you are interested in picking one of those up. Okay, so we can see our file folder open here and we're down here where it says USB drive H. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna format that. So we're just gonna right click on it and format. This is what you wanna do to start off just to make sure that everything's clear and this thing is set up and you're able to put all your files on there correctly. So we're gonna click start and you will be reminded that if you do this, it's gonna erase anything that's on that SD card. So make sure that you've got everything off of there that you want off before you do this. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay and then okay. Okay, so we've got our cricks.com homepage open and this is where we're gonna to go to download our firmware and all the files we need to get this up and running. You're not gonna get any game files on here. That's something you gotta do on your own but we'll get everything else from here. So let's go to downloads. Once we get to downloads, you're gonna look for the device you have. In this case, we've got the Turbo EverDrive. So we'll click on this. And then we've got Pro Series. All right, so once we're in here, we're gonna download these different folders here. So we'll go to firmware. And we need the one on the bottom here, this ED Turbo. All right, so we got that. Now let's go back. Now we're gonna to go to the Turbo Theme folder and we're gonna download this. And I'm gonna go ahead and download this manual. When you click on it, it's gonna open up as a PDF. And then we'll just go over here and go to download. And I'm downloading this because there's a lot of good information in here. And if I ever need to go back to it, it's easy to do so whenever you save it on your computer. You can also access it on your phone or whatever, you're, whatever kind of device you're using, but this is a very quick and easy way to do it. If you go to the second page, they do have a QR code here um, so that you can get to the new firmware version. So it's pretty handy to have this here. All right, so now we're into our folders. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put some of the, the files that we just downloaded over onto our micro SD card. So to start off, we're gonna take our ED Turbo file here. We can just drag and drop it. Now we've got our Turbo theme, and these are the different backgrounds that you can have whenever you're into the menu. So these are just a pack that you can get from them. You can also go online and you can look up others uh, that people have created, and you can create your own as well. If you're interested in that kind of thing, you can do a little bit of research and figure out how to do that. But we're just gonna go through some of the ones that were installed here already, just to take a look at them. So we'll right click and we'll extract this folder. All right, now we've got our extracted folder down here. If we go through and open it up, we see that there's, there's a few different folders within folders here, subfolders. So we don't really need all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in here to the Turbo Theme folder and drag and drop that over onto our SD card. Now, another thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a couple folders for our games. So we'll just go to new folder. We're gonna call this one cue card. And then we will create another folder and call it CD. This is just the easy way for us to be able to find the games whenever we're looking for them, depending on whether it's a cue card game or a CD game. All right, so if you're interested in playing CD games, uh, on your Turbo EverDrive Pro, you can do so. But to do that, we have to download something else. And we're gonna download a BIOS so that the card can read the CD file and play it on your television. So to do that, what we're gonna do, I'll, let's open up the manual and we're gonna go to page 12 of the manual. All right, so here we are on page 12. Now, if you scroll down towards the bottom, there's information regarding the CD-ROM games. So th the problem is if you try to, to play a CD-ROM game without having the correct BIOS in there, it's not going to load up. So what you wanna do is, you'll note here, 
Super CD-ROM System V3.0. So we need to go find this file and download it. Now I'm gonna put a link in the description so that you know where you can download this from. But essentially this is a BIOS file that will allow you to play those games. So to do that, um, we're gonna to go to the website itself. Okay, so here we are, here's the website. And again, I'll put a link in the description so that you guys know how you can get this. But while you're on here, you'll notice down here on the right, you've got an option, download BIOS Super CD-ROM System ROM. This is what you wanna click on. So we're gonna left click here to download this. There we go. Now it doesn't take that long. So now what we want to do is, let's go back to our folders. Here is the BIOS that we just downloaded, so we're going to right click and extract all. Okay. So here's this uh, BIOS file. Now what we're going to do for right now is, we're going to um, leave it right here where it's at, and then we're going to show you where to put it on the other folder. Okay, so we've just about got this as done as we can get it for right now. Um, what we're going to do though, I'm going to create one more folder here on our SD card and I'm just going to title it BIOS. And this is where we're going to put the uh, firmware that we downloaded from Crix on. So we're going to put that there. Okay, now before we can really start doing anything here, what we need to do is we need to flash the SD card. And to do that, we are going to take our Turbo EverDrive Pro put it into our TurboGrafx-16 console, and we are going to run that software. And we'll show you how to do that here in a moment, but we're gonna do that, and then once we do that, then we're gonna take that BIOS that we downloaded for the CD-ROM game, and we're gonna install it back onto this SD card, and we'll show you how to do that. But for right now, we've got this pretty much as done as we can get it, and we're gonna go and flash the SD card. All right, you guys, so we are in the uh, menu of the Turbo EverDrive Pro right now. And what we need to do is we need to flash the firmware onto the card itself. And to do that, if you remember, we put our firmware in our BIOS folder. So we're just gonna click on the BIOS folder. And then we are going to click the firmware and then install firmware. And then just, we're just gonna let it do its thing. All right, there we go. So now we're going to go back into the computer for a minute, show you guys the folders, and show you what we have to do to get the CD working. Okay, everyone, so you just seen us flash the SD card, and essentially all we had to do was once we were on the menu, we went into our BIOS folder, and then we just installed this firmware. That's it. Once it was done, we turned the console off, and now we've put our SD card back into the computer to show you what we need to do to be able to play CD games. So what we're gonna do is, you'll notice now that we have an extra folder. We've got this ED or EverDrive Turbo folder, and this is from that firmware update. So we're gonna click on this to open it up. Now on here, we've got a BIOS folder. We're gonna double click it to open it up, and this is empty, but this is because this is where we need to install the CD-ROM BIOS. So we're gonna go back over to our folder that we downloaded for that CD-ROM BIOS, open it up, and we're just gonna drag and drop this BIOS file into our folder. That's it, it's as simple as that. So now we can go back. Now this is our, our base menu here for our SD card. We're completely done now. All we have to do is plug this into the console and we'll start playing this. And we're gonna show you guys some examples of Hue card games and CD games so you can see it firsthand how this thing works. But this is all there is to setting up the SD card. All right, everyone, so you've seen us set up the SD card. Now we are into the menu of the Turbo EverDrive. And this is the different files that we set up here. Now, one thing I will apologize for up front is the video quality on here. I'm using this uh, old school AV to HDMI adapter to be able to do our video capture and it's, it's not that great. So there's some flickering sometimes. It's nothing to do at all with my TurboGrafx-16 or the Turbo EverDrive, it's the adapter itself. But this is what we've got, so this is what we're using right now. Uh, up front here, we've got a couple different things. If you can remember, we downloaded the Turbo theme file, so let's take a look at that really quick. What this is, this is different themes for the background that we can set up. So. 
Uh, let's just click on one of them. Let's see. Set theme. There we go. So if we wanted to do this theme, we could do this theme. If we wanted to do this one, and, and all you're doing here, or all I'm doing rather, is I'm gonna click on the uh, one button. And if I click on the one button again, it's gonna select, or if I click on the two button, it's gonna go back. So if we go to basic one, and with, on the very top, you'll see basic one, the BGR file, that's the file that we wanna to select to set the theme. So we'll click on that, and then we'll just set theme. There we go. Pretty simple, not much to it. If we wanna go back, let's look at the next one, basic two, set theme. There we go, there's a different one. Go back, default, set theme. There we go, back to the original. If we wanna do, so let's, let's just pick one of these, basic one, let's see. There we go, we'll just use this one for right now. Um, but you can see how it works. It's pretty simple. You can, there are ways that you can download and create your own themes as well. And there's a lot of them online. If you go looking around a little bit, um, you can just do a search on Google and you can download them from uh, where different people have created them. So it's, it's kind of open as far as whatever you want to do with that. But we've got a few different games on here. Uh, we'll start off just with the PC Engine games. Uh, PC Engine Turbo Graphics 16. So these are going to be the Hue card games, and we'll just run through and test out a few different games. So uh, first, let's look at Air Zonk. Let's check this out. Go uh, spicy mode. Sounds good. Looks good. Like I said, there is a little flicker, but that's nothing to do with anything else. When I was running this, so we've got a turbo booster that we're using for this, connected to our turbo graphics. And when I have that hooked directly up to the TV, there's no issue whatsoever. It's just this. AV to HDMI converter I've got. Let's uh, let's try this out and see what we got here. All right. So no issues so far. And so you guys know I did go through and test out a bunch of these games ahead of time. There were, I don't know, I probably went through 50 of the CD games and just as many Hue card games and I didn't have any issues, but we're just gonna select some random games right here to show you guys how it works. I don't claim to be good at shooters, which is probably not the greatest console for me considering that's what a lot of the games are on here. And they've got, I would say, the best selection of shooters out of the 16-bit era on the uh, PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16. But yeah, everything's working great on this. I don't see any issues. You guys can judge for yourself what you think here. All right, so let's go back to the main menu. And to do that, you can just hit on the little button on your Turbo EverDrive cartridge if you want, and that's gonna pull up this screen. And then I'm just gonna go down to exit game. Okay, here we are back again. Uh, Alien Crush. This is, I, I really like the Crush series of pinball games, Alien Crush, Devil Crush, Jockey Crush, etc. I think these are very fun. Um, as, a, as, as a kid growing up, I really liked the uh, pinball games a lot. I remember when I got Sonic Spinball for my Sega Genesis, and I really liked that game a lot. Let's check this out. Start game. Now, I will say, when you get ready to go into the game, you can enter in cheats, and this is similar to the other Crix uh, cartridges. If, the, if you do have any cheats or anything, you can enter them in here. It's got information on the ROM info, uh, hex view. If you wanted to delete something, you could do that. I don't want to do that, but just a couple different options you can run from here. All right, Alien Crush, here we go. Oh, 
Yeah, I think these are very fun games because, I mean, you don't have to do any setup or anything really. You just hop into the game and you can sit down and play it and see how far you can get. You know, there's different bosses and things to keep you continually entertained on these games. It's not... Well, there we go. We'll play another round here, see how we do, and then we'll uh, check out some other games on here. The music reminds me of um, the movie Phantasm, like something you would hear in that movie. back in. No. Alright, come on. Need to get these bumpers out of the way so we can do something up here. Uh, come on. I'm trying to get up inside of one of these aliens' mouths, but it's not working for me. Ah, okay, let's go back to the main menu. All right, so here we are again at the main menu. Let's just go through, see what else we got. Uh, let's try arrow blasters. Let's see what we got here. I'll just miss all of them like a dummy. All right. There we go. All right. So yeah, everything's working as it should. And really, that's what this uh, system is really known for is a lot of these shooters that it has on it. Um, but just uh, as far as the hue card goes, I think we're good. Maybe we'll try out one more shooter game just so you guys can see it. But I think uh, everything's working just fine as it should here. All right, let's do our type. Well, that sounds awesome. All right, let's do this. Ah, he got me. But anyways, you get the point. Everything's working as it should. Um, again, no issue with the hue card stuff. So let's um, let's hop out of here and let's check out the Turbo CD stuff that we had put on here. All right, everyone, we're back at our main menu here. And if you recall, we downloaded a BIOS that will allow us to play the CD games on our Turbo EverDrive card. So let's just go into our CD games. And I've already tested a bunch of these out. 
I don't know, maybe 50, 60 games. I haven't had any issues with anything, but let's go through and let's try a couple out and see what we can come up with here. Uh, let's do Sapphire, I guess. So the big thing to take into consideration on these CD games, the 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 audio is typically going to be better than on a lot of the cartridges, and they've got these cutscenes. Some of them are animated like like an anime cartoon, and some of them are made to look more like an actual film. But obviously, it's pixelated and everything because of the hardware. But a lot of these have this. As you can see here, we've got this basically like an anime scene here. Looks really good. Alright, so let's get through this. Sounds good. Let's see what we got here. Who do we want? Blue. Pick blue. Alright. Yeah, yeah, come on. All right. Come on. Here we go. Hobble. Getting crazy already. Oh man. Well, that sucked. You can definitely tell this is an arcade game. I mean, this is a quarter quarter magnet here. It's just my eyes can't even comprehend what all we're doing. Man. All right. So that's that's it for me, I guess, on here. Now um, let's go back and play a couple of different games. The main thing is here, everything's working just like it should. It looks fine. It sounds good. I don't have any issues with it. Gradius 2. Alright, what do we want? Let's pick something. It's um, looks pretty good. Sounds good. All right. All right. Here comes this jackass. Yeah, so um, everything's playing as it should. I think it sounds pretty good, especially considering that generic AV adapter that we've got that we're using here. Yeah, I think it's working great. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, I'll be sitting here playing this all day if uh, we don't hop out. So let's hop out. Let's try maybe one more game. All right, let's try out a an actual CD based game that is made to look more like a, a movie. Uh, it came from the desert. Let's just see what this thing looks like and sounds like for a minute. I mean, everything sounds good. I think it looks like it should look. Let's get into this thing. 
day one. Trying to get through everything so we can actually start playing this game. <laughs> one of the locals, Buzz. I see he's out shooting jackrabbits with his big shotgun again. For fun. Ah, there's what I'm after. The wreck on the highway. A bad sign, very bad. That's the atomic waste truck that cracked up last night, isn't it? It was no accident. Its deadly cargo had vanished by the time the sheriff arrived. That can only mean one thing, Buzz. I want you to get out to Borax and... <coughs> reactivate... Hey, what are we watching here? Your old radiation sensor grid? You haven't used that since the A-bomb test. And why bull... All right, let's get through this. So, I mean, everything seems to be playing just fine. Um, the sound's okay. This is still fun town, USA. I don't see any issues with anything. Where do we want to go? Mm, sand flat, mine entrance, borax. Let's go to the let's go to the saloon. Have us a drink here. And we got our own handicapped saxophone player here. How about that? He's just hanging out here at the saloon where nobody else is at. You ever hear rhythm changes like that, kid? Well, now you have. Now you sure have. Mm -hmm. Now listen up. You want the girl, you want knowledge, or you want strength. Now what's it gonna be? You probably want the girl, right? They usually do. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um i mean this is just like all the other games we've played i don't see any issues with anything we're going for the girl we're not screwing around here i don't see any issues with the game everything sounds good it looks pretty good i don't i don't have an issue with anything hi hello come closer we will. Don't be shy. I'm Marina. Mm -hmm. I know. You're Buzz. Yep. Yeah. All right, you guys. We're going to hop back to the main menu now. Um, again, I don't see any issues with anything. Okay, you guys, so here we are back at the main menu. Everything worked as it should, at least in my opinion. You know, maybe, maybe the CD games aren't quite as good as what they would be playing them through the CD um console but i think it's working pretty good I, I don't have any issues with it everything's very playable the sound works pretty good the video looks pretty good i mean i don't i don't see where there's an issue with anything i played almost every game um at this point on here a ton of the hue card games about 50 or 60 of the cd based games all the main titles that that anybody that's going to play this thing would play and i haven't seen any big issues with anything uh, everything plays through just fine. So I think this thing works great. And if you're looking for a way to be able to to play these games, you know, it's it's hard to find and they're very expensive, some of these PC Engine games. But what we're going to do now is we, we've tested everything out on our original TurboGrafx-16 with the Turbo Booster. Now we're going to plug this thing into our new Analog Duo, see what it looks like, test everything out, make sure it works, and then go from there. Now we're going to turn on the Analog Duo. We have removed the top cover from our Turbo EverDrive card to allow for enough room for us to be able to insert it inside of the Analog Duo. And it's a really tight fit, just so you know that. I would say if, if you're wanting to do this, be extra careful so that you don't break your Turbo EverDrive card because it is a super tight fit and you got to be careful. But I was able to get it inside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start this thing up and see what we got. Okay, you guys, so here we are at our main menu. We're running this through the Analog Duo. You can really tell the difference here, just how crisp and clean all the colors are, the separation between the pixels. Everything looks really good. Um, so let's go through and play some different games, just like we did before. But we'll test them out on this Duo and see how everything looks and functions on here. As far as the startup and everything, everything worked good. One thing to note, I have not used the Analog Duo yet. We just purchased it. 
and we're just now getting everything fired up. So this is the first time I've actually turned on the Analog Duo right now that what you're watching, and uh, we're going to see how this thing performs. But from right now, everything started up and uh, seems to be working okay. We did remove the top cover from the EverDrive Pro uh, card because it is, there's not enough room on this Analog Duo console for that slot for it to slide in there. And even with those removed, it is a super, super tight fit. Do it at your discretion if you're trying to do this. I mean, it's working. We can see it's working, but man, it's you got to be very careful or you could easily break something, or at least that's what it feels like because it is a very tight fit. So uh, use this at your discretion, but we are using it right now and you can see that it's working and, and it looks very good. So let's go in just to some of the standard games. So what we got. Alien Crush, we tried that a little bit ago. Let's do um, Devil's Crush. Oh yeah, this is an awesome game. So everything seems to be playing just fine. Looks good. Ha! Go figure. Okay. I didn't even get to do anything. Alright, let's try another ball and then we'll try something else out here. Anyways, the point is, everything looks and sounds great. It's working just as it should. All right, you guys, here we are back at the main menu. One thing I wanted to mention was how you can set up some hotkeys on your controller to do different things. And one of the main things would be to be able to get back and access this menu while you're playing a game. So instead of having to shut the console down or hit your uh, button on the, on the card itself, you want to just get back here. An easy way to do that is if you hit your select button on your controller, go to options, and then down here you'll notice in-game combo. So select that. Now this is where you can either do a quick save, a quick load, or an in-game menu. Now down at the bottom you're going to notice what this is currently set at. So for the save it's currently set at run plus right, load, run left, or the menu key which I've got to set up as one, two, and down. So I can hit all three of those at the same time. It's going to take us back to the main menu that we were just at so that you can access other games, again, without having to shut down the console or do anything else to, to access that. So it's an easy way to do it from your controller. Let's get back to the main menu. I don't need to change anything. I just wanted to mention that. And let's, um, let's try out a couple games. Let's try Kadash. Let's run, all right. One player. Character, who do we want? Let's do the ninja. Here we go. Enter names. What's he look like? He looks like a, a Dave. Dave the ninja, all right. And so everything looks really good here. Um, obviously we're using the Analog Duo, but everything seems to be working correctly on here. It looks good, it sounds good. Yeah, we don't, don't want to read all this stuff, come on. All right, let's go out of here. Sounds good. Damn it. 
All right, Hogman, let's go. Okay. Oh boy, can't get out of this stuff. Ah! That was terrible. All right. Alright, so you guys get the point. I mean, everything seems to be working just fine. Sounds good, looks good, and the point here is that this is working on the Analog Duo, which is what uh, we were shooting for here, so it seems to be okay. Alright, anyways. So we're going to go back to the main menu. Next the game. Uh, let's try another game. What we got? We were playing R-Type earlier. Let's see what it looks like on here. Oh yeah, here we go. Man, it looks really good. Sounds good. Get our buddy here. All right. All right. Oh shit. All right. Well, anyways, other than me dying, man, it's uh, everything seems to be working just fine. I don't see any issues here. All right. Let's see if we can go to a different game. Let's try some Splatter House out here. These guys just coming out of the woodworks, aren't they? Let's see. Get the hell out of here. Good thing they're very weak and I can just punch them one time and they just disintegrate. Oh, here we got Frieza coming out here with his floating brain. Oh, he got me. Okay, everything seems to be doing okay on this, so um, let's, uh, let's go back to the main menu and let's uh, play something different. All right, you guys, so here we are back at the main menu. Now, I wanted to mention something here. I've tried a number of CD games using this Analog Duo, and as far as the game playing, it will turn on. You can see everything. It looks great because the video output from this console looks good. The problem is there's no sound. I have did a little bit of research on this, and supposedly you have to burn the CD-ROMs and play it just like you would a normal CD game in the uh, Duo itself. I don't know if this is something that's going to be remedied in the future, but we just seen a few minutes ago that it works just fine on the original Turbo Graphics. So this is a uh, an issue with the Analog Duo itself and not the card. So that's a shame that we can't do that yet. I would assume that Analog is going to have some type of a firmware update in the future where we will be able to do that. But as of right now, this thing was just released when we're trying this out, by the way. 
Um, as of right now, it's not working, so it is what it is. But we did see that the Turbo EverDrive would work just fine using that Turbo Graphics 16 and uh, being able to play not only the Hue card games, but also the CD games, so no issue there. Now, one thing we are gonna test out on here is the, some of the uh, Super Graphics games. We'll try one or two. There's only a few of them anyways, but we'll try a few of them on here just to see how they work. And um, this will be playing just as we did the other Hue card games, but with the Super Graphics. Now, one thing to mention that if we, um, if we go back to the uh, analog menu and go into settings, you can t do some different things as far as the audio and video go for the Super Graphics and the CD games on there. Let's go into Super Graphics and try it out. So what do we got? 1941 counterattack. Let's try it out. All right. So everything seems to be working just fine for this game anyway. Um, I don't see any difference anyway. Yeah, so this is working just fine, no issues. So you can play the Super Graphics games not only on the Turbo EverDrive Pro card, but you can also play them when you're using it on this Analog Duo. And everything seems to be working just fine. I don't see any issues here. So just to note that uh, you can play these. And again, there's only a handful of games anyway, but I figured I'd pull it up and just show you guys that it will work. So whether you're using this on an original uh, Turbo Graphics console, PC Engine, or you're using it on this new Analog Duo, it will work. All right, so you just seen us test out the cue card games and the super graphics game. Uh, no issues with any of those. Just on the CD, like I would stated, we don't have any sound. You can see everything, but there's no sound. And I would assume there's going to be some kind of update to that. Maybe there already is now, and I just don't know about it. But but that's it. Uh, we've we went through. We've set up our SD card. We've checked out everything. Now we'll do a little closeout on this and give you our overall thoughts on this product. As for right now, I think everything works great, no issues. And uh, just like every other Crix product that we've got, it works just as described. All right, everyone, so you've seen us unbox and review the Turbo EverDrive Pro from Crix. Now, this is a very good product, just like everything else that we've gotten from Crix. I can't recommend them highly enough. If you're looking for a flash cart, then definitely check out Crix's products. If you're into the Turbo Graphics, then this is definitely a product for you. A lot of those games have gotten crazy expensive over the years, and some of them are just almost impossible to find. So this is a way that you can enjoy and play those games that either you can't afford or you just can't locate anywhere. Especially if, if you're looking for Japanese games, hey, you can play them on here. Or if you're in Japan and you're maybe looking for games from US or, or wherever you're located, this is a way to play games that you don't have access to. We really appreciate you guys tuning in the video. And until next time, keep gaming.